Hi, I'm Ross. I'm Heather. And today we're investigating the science of setting bubbles on fire. First, let's make some bubbles by pumping air through these containers of water. Here we can see the air floating up through the water, but when it reaches the surface, the air escapes. But in this container, we've added something to the water. When the air reaches the surface, it's trapped, creating bubbles. We can add lots of different substances to water to make bubbles, from washing up liquid to shampoo. But the collective name for all of these substances is surfactants. Here we have a single droplet of water. The reason water forms a droplet and doesn't spread out is because the water molecules are attracted to the other water molecules all around them. But those on the surface of the water have fewer molecules surrounding them, so pull towards one another even more. This causes the water to form these round droplets and it's known as surface tension. Insects will use surface tension to walk on water and it's the reason a belly flop into a pool can hurt so much. But it's also what stops the water droplets from making bubbles and this is why adding a surfactant is so important because the surfactant molecules stick into the water droplet breaking up the surface tension. The surfactant remains on the outside with the water filling the middle layer. This spreads out to make a thin film, which you can fill with air to make a bubble. But you don't have to use air to fill bubbles, you can use whatever gas you like. And this is where we can start to get creative. Adding potassium iodide to hydrogen peroxide accelerates the breakdown into water and oxygen. <laughs> Whoa! By trapping this oxygen into some bubbles, it makes them incredibly flammable. And finally, using pure hydrogen gas makes my favourite kind of flammable bubble. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get that last one on there? Brilliant. For more amazing demonstrations, check out Neris and Will investigating the science of what makes something glow in the dark. Or for something you can try at home, watch Sarah and David explore the science of sweets. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.